Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well today I want to share with you my melting basket for the next little segment of my warming cycle. I think I'm going to start cutting back my videos a little bit because the last video, my wax empties video, was just way, way too long. So <laughs> we're just going to cut it back just a little bit. So what I have in here is I have quite a few selections. I will not be able to get through all of these in a month's time but I'm going to warm some of these and whatever is in the basket will stay in the basket and I'll just roll it over into the next month. So we're just going to do it that way. Um, so yeah, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start with one that is, has already been in there. It's cashmere. It's, I've only got like one little cube left. And so I actually had this one gifted to me from Miss Cindy. So I'm going to finish that one. And then I have another one that's a repeat and it is Pink Haze. And it's one that I was unable to finish last month and I still have about two cubes left. Try not to get the glare, sorry about that. And then another repeat from last month is Summer Meadow by Oaken Rye. Mm, let's see, any more repeats? Yes. We have um, Fizzy Pops by Rose Girls. Okay, is that all my repeats? I think it is. Okay, no it isn't. We have... Um, Prickly Pear and Agave from Scentsy. And then I had another one in here from, here we are, Sweet Sage Scents. And this one is Tiny Dancer. This is going to be kind of fun to warm. It's got Satsuma, Honey Bee, Vanilla Sugar, Waffle Kong. So I think I might try that one next, actually. Yeah. Okay. Alright, moving on. I think the rest of these are new to the basket. So I'm going to try to do a cross comparison between Beach Daisy and Here Come the Sunflowers. I don't know if I'll be able to do it this month. If I don't do it this month, then I will try it next month. But I love both of these. I just want to know. I'm just going to go a little bit more into detail what the differences are between these two and the similarities, of course. And then from Ella After, I have Bed Night Snacks. This was gifted to me by Miss Cindy. And then from Super Tarts, I have Snape. Then from Heart and Home, I have a Very Berry Cheesecake. And then let's see, from Yankee, I've got a couple from Yankee, I've got Pumpkin Pie and Hot Cocoa. Then I've got a really old bar of, well I wouldn't say really old, it's a 2017 for Cranberry and Tinsel from Scentsy, it was from their holiday collection, actually when I first became a consultant. So yeah, and every time I see this, I call it Old Cranberry because it's probably one of the oldest Scentsy bars that I own. So every time I see it, I say, there's Old Cranberry. So here's Cranberry and Tinsel. That sounds like the name of a horse, Old Cranberry. All right, now I have a few more here. I've got Cherry Clove Chutney. Ghostly Greetings, which I am going to save for right around Halloween. That one definitely will be warm this month. Apple and Oats. Autumn Road Trip. I am so excited to try this one. So, so excited. And... Caramel Vanilla Delight. This is one of my older bars. I can't wait to warm this one. Believe it or not, I have not warmed it yet. In fact, 
A lot of these I have not warmed yet, you guys. I know, right? Okay, then we have the last but not least is Caffeine Before Hygiene by Ella After. I shared some of this bag with a really good friend in Rexburg, and she quite loves it. So, yeah, I can't wait to warm this. This is, I can actually smell this from here, and the bag is sealed shut. This smells divine. It is um, sugar cookies and latte, lattes. Mm-hmm. So that is what I'm going to be trying to warm in the next month. And yeah, so you guys take care and have a great week. Bye-bye.